Welcome to St. Anne's Church. Today's Mass intentions are for the health of Jose Luis Soto, Esmeralda Soto, who is celebrating her birthday, and Manuel Saldana, who is celebrating his birthday, and for the eternal rest of Maria Josephine Fernando, Anna Lee Thaiwai, Raymond Wing Tan Kai, Michael Vela, Jose Luis, um, Jorge Luis Guzman, who would be celebrating his birthday, and for baby Samuel Nava, who recently passed away. Please stand. Jesus Christ is risen today. Hallelujah. Our triumphant holy day. Hallelujah. Who did once upon the cross? Hallelujah. Suffer to redeem our loss. Hallelujah. Hymns of praise, then let us sing. Christ, our heavenly King, Alleluia. Who endured the cross and grave, Alleluia. Sinners to redeem and save. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. My sisters and brothers, as we have come together as a family of faith to offer this Holy Eucharistic sacrifice, may we now thank the Lord for the divine providence and protection in our lives. Let's now acknowledge our sins and failures and so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We praise you, O Lord. You take away our sins. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity, Human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. 
เยมนA reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up, and all his companions—that is, the party of the s a d i s a n d filled with jealousy, lay hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, "Go and take your place in the temple area, and let the people, and tell the people everything." About this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to the, them, brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported. We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors, but we op- but when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them, to what would ha- to come. When someone came in and reported to them, the men who you put in the prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. When the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of the poor. Of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times; His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord; the lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me; let us together extol His name. I sought the Lord, and He answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the cry, the cry of, the of the poor. Look to Him that you may be radiant with joy. And your faces may not blush with shame, but the poor one calls out, "The Lord hears," and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. So that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to John, glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict: 
that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. My sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, there is one particular word in the entire sacred scriptures that sums up God's plan of salvation. That is love. The beloved disciple of Jesus, John the Evangelist, states crystal clear that it is God who loved us first. We love God because God loved us first. And it is well said, my friends, God's objective was salvation. And his motive was love. God came down because he had great love for us. And so love is the operative word for God. Love is the reason that God came down to redeem us, to save us. And therefore, it is love of God that makes us move, that inspires us. It is love of God that helps us do things in a creative way. And my friends, God's plan of salvation is summed up in the gospel today. God so loved the world that he sent his son so that whoever believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. And that's how God's love was made manifest in and through Jesus. God loved us so much, he sent his only son. Jesus loved us so much that he gave his life on the cross for us, for the whole of humanity. And Jesus continues to love us by giving himself in the form of bread and wine. And that sacramental sacrifice happens every time when we come around the altar of the Lord to offer the Holy Eucharistic sacrifice. And that's how, my friends, God's love is being poured upon us. And God loves us not because what we do. God loves us because what Jesus did on the cross for us. God loves us not because how we look ourselves. God loves us because we have been created in the likeness and image of God. God loves us. That's how he lets us be called his own children, his own people. Therefore, the message for us today is this. God loves us, no matter where we are at now. And my friends, there is some, somebody who said about love, Love is a flame, like a Paschal candle, the fire, that warms our soul, supplies energy. It energizes our spirit. And it is a connection to God and to one another. And so during this Holy Mass, my friends, let us pray from our hearts in order for us to be persons are full of life and love, 
in order for us to remain faithful to the one true God, to our loving God. Because he loves us, that's why Jesus every time sacrifices himself on the altar of the Lord in order for us to be redeemed, be recreated, and to reinstate in the state of grace. And may we always remember God loves us. Praised be the holy name of Jesus. Amen. Please stand for the prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, let's now turn our hearts and minds to the Lord and bring our prayers and petitions before him, trusting in his divine mercy and infinite love. For the church throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit continue to empower her in her witness to the truth of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the Spirit guide them in enacting policy that protects life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with loneliness and isolation, may the Lord lift up their hearts and bring them comfort and companionship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families in this faith community, may the Lord bless them with unity, joy, love, and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Esmeralda Soto on her birthday, for Jose Luis Soto for his health, and for Manuel Sadania on his birthday. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, especially for Maria Josephine Fernando, Anna Lee Thai Huai, Raymond Nguyen Tang Kai, Michael Vela, Jorge Luis Guzman, who would be celebrating his birthday, and baby Samuel Nava on his three-day commemoration. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear, O Lord, our prayers and petitions, and answer them according to your most holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All sons and daughters, let us sing the King of heaven, the glorious King. Or death today rose triumphing. Hallelujah. 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 That Easter morn at break of day, the faithful woman went their way to seek the tomb where Jesus lay. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. An angel clad in white they see, who sat and spoke unto the three. Your Lord has gone to Galilee. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
friends that a sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands, hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange you have factored in the sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is a true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
Kevin our bishop and his brother bishops and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection in all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of a face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 My sisters and brothers, may we now call God our Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of a church, and graciously grant to her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Love of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. This is Christ Jesus who continues to love us. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
inside. Praise we Him whose love divine. Give His sacred blood for wine. Give His body for the feast. Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the Paschal blood is poured, death dark angel chill his sword. Israel holds triumph and go that drowns the foe. Praise we Christ whose blood was shed. Pascal victim, Pascal bread, with sincerity and love, eat we manna from above. whose blood was shed Paschal victim Paschal bread with sincerity and love eat we manna from sisters and brothers, maybe now do the act of spiritual communion for those unable to receive Holy Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present, your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Have a blessed evening, everyone. Same to you, Father. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Hallelujah, give praise to his name.